My name is Ben O'Shea. Uh, I'm joined here by Fintan Lawler and Yibu Rajan. And uh, we come from Patrician Secondary School in Newbridge, County Kildare. And uh, our project today is high speed rail viable in Ireland. I personally have always had a love in railways. And frankly, I just dragged these other two along with me. Willingly, I hope. <laughs> we first of all defined the civil engineering principles behind high speed rail and railways as a whole. And then we began our case study of the Dublin Belfast line. We began by evaluating the state of the state of affairs on the line. What are the conditions like? What's hunting like? And hunting is a lateral movement of the wheel set between the between the rails. High speed rail is all is all rail travel over 200 kilometres an hour. The highest that we can travel at is 164 kilometres an hour. But that train, which is the class 201, which is, happens to run on the Enterprise line, only averages about 70 kilometres an hour on its route. It brings us together. We might see one part of the country as, oh, this is a very distant part of the country. It makes everything seem much closer. It brings the nation together as a whole, but it also connects business. But in the short term, it is not viable. Like if we say in the next week we want to a high speed rail to happen between Cork and Dublin, that won't happen. But like maybe in like in 10 years, that might happen. Uh, already from uh, the Cork to Dublin line, the government are planning on changing the tracks to make it suitable for a high speed rail. And then they, uh, uh, they only need to change the design of the trains and the signalings, and then we can have high speed rail in Ireland.